hello everyone welcome to python learning series for network engineers this is the second video on how to do interface configuration parsing using regex in the first video we have seen how to connect to the device execute show ip interface brief command get the output and parse it and create a dictionary so list of dictionaries we were able to do and we are doing this parallelly using multi-threading so we are connecting to all these four devices parallelly and getting the interface configuration details using regex in python i'll just run this script once so i'll be adding first videos uh, link also in the description and notification here you can see i'm receiving all the interface details the interface name IP address and its status. So it is getting executed parallelly. You can see here the timestamp. So everything is getting executed at 795. Now, here in this video, we will see how to identify the interfaces matching specific subnet. For example, if you want to identify the interface IPs where it matches a specific subnet like 192.168.0.0/24. Here you can see gigabit 1 is 0 slash 63 and here also 0 slash 0 is uh, 0 0.61. So we will try to scan and identify what are the interfaces matching with specific subnet. So for that I will be using IP address module. So you need to manually install that into PyCharm or inside your python interpreter using pip install ip address so this is the documentation of ip address library this handles all the ip address validations actually you can create ip address objects using this and then we have multiple logics to validate it one example is if you want to identify whether two subnets are overlapping you can use overlaps method same way you can even identify whether an ip is part of a subnet or what are the subnets available within an ip or how to split all this we have a lot of options here i have created couple of videos on this library as well i'll add that video also in the description and notification so here to validate this what we'll do we'll create a test script file and later we'll merge that into this logic because here anyway we are getting the list of dictionaries with interface properties i'll take copy of one one interface one device's interface properties so it is here uh, it is printing the interface list let me run again Okay, we'll take this interf in the base properties. I'll copy this and create a new temporary Python file for writing the logic. Test IP address. and here the name was ip underscore list interface underscore list int underscore list equal to i'll paste the list of interfaces here now to format this what i can do is i can press ctrl alt l and this arranges that particular list and I will import IP address module and here to create an object IP address object we need to loop through this interface list so for INTR 
in interface list and let us just do a print here because we will be getting each dictionary in the iteration so intr of ip now here we are getting all the ip addresses and the unassigned status now to convert this into an IP address object, what we can do is IP equal to IP address dot we can give IP address itself here then INTR of IP. So now we will be getting this value inside IP. So let us try printing this. Here you can see we are getting error. The reason for this error is IP address cannot identify this as a valid IP because it is not a valid IP so it is saying it is a value error so to handle that what we can do is we will do a try accept and if any exception occurs we will give continue and let us try running again so now we are able to get all these objects and if we try to print type of it these are now ipv4 address objects now if you want to match this against a particular subnet we will prompt user to enter a subnet to match so ip net input and this is going to be IP network object here in this documentation you should be able to see multiple types like IP address and IP network yeah this is here you need to give with subnet so IP address dot IP underscore network then we will take input from user so we will give input enter subnet and mask subnet slash mask to match with now we will be getting the subnet details from here and you can even handle some errors here like invalid input and all using exception here but we will just validate this against this IP address so what we can do is we'll delete this and if IP in IP underscore net input the subnet what user is going to give we'll just try to print interface of the particular interface name int and then interfaces IP address will print Now let us try running this. I will give 192.168 slash 24. So it says gigabit 
one matches with zero subnet now imagine i'm giving another subnet here 192.168.1.63 and here 68 0, .0 slash 16 i'll give this time now this matches with both subnets same way if i match only with 1.0 slash 24 this time this gives only one interface so now this is able to identify the ip address with subnet and same way here i have a given ip address instead of this i can even give ip network when i use ip network it should be overlaps you can see overlaps here So this will match subnets whether one subnet contains in another subnet so here what we need to do is if ip net input dot overlaps ip that time we will print it now I have converted this IP into an IP network object. This also works fine. Now let us copy and paste this logic into our regex parsing logic. So I will copy this. I will call this as IP identifier. And I'll copy this. Put it here. We can remove unused libraries from here. Then this logic we need to put it after printing the table. Either you can put it here also like while framing the dictionary within dictionary also you can apply this logic but here I will handle it separately so copy this so here we will already have this interface list so I will comment this print and show IP interface brief output also I'll comment and here we can put some message here
let us try running this so this doesn't have any interfaces matching with particular subnet you can see here ios xc the devnet device doesn't have any interface but other devices are having one interface so we'll log in to one device and add one more ip let us add this into 61 So gigabit 3 we will add. This time we'll give 16. 0, 0 slash 16 yeah now we are able to see here this has identified both interfaces which matches 0, 0 slash 16 in the next video we will see how to monitor this interface status for example if this particular interface goes down we will see how to trigger an email to the user so at that time we'll be using even the schedule library for scheduling this continuous interface monitoring we'll see how to run this from background and trigger an email whenever interface goes down i hope this video was helpful for you to understand how to use ip address module for scanning or identifying and matching and overlapping subnets thanks for watching see you in the next video